Welcome back to my channel. So today's video, I'm going to be going over Mila's occupational therapy appointment that we went to back on January 13th. So today's actually the 22nd of January. For those that may not know what an, an occupational therapist is, the role is to help you with your daily routines and roles that you need to do. So we, during her appointment, we, it was about a half an hour long, so it really wasn't that long at all. We did go over a bit of her vision to see if we're going to be getting um, an appointment booked for her low blind vision testing still, which we're still working on. Then we went into her occupational therapist appointment. We just had Mila lay down. We got her to grab a few toys and just kind of see how she's doing at this stage. During that appointment, we just basically sat down. We went over seeing how Mila is moving, what type of toys she's playing with, seeing how she's developing still. So it was more of, I want to say, like an orientation. It was the first time going to that appointment. So during that appointment, we just kind of seen how her movement and all is going. So Mila, she's still, when she plays, she's very right hand dominant. And what they told me back in physio was that it is very good to be symmetrical, so using both arms and not being as asymmetrical as when you're a newborn. So we are still working on her symmetry. So she does play with her right hand more and we do kind of have to um, guide her from the back of her bicep and just guide her left hand to go reach things. And they also said that when we do play with toys with her, like instead of holding your hand more in front, have the toy more in front so that it helps her guide and to see. So some of the toys that we do use for Mila are these little maracas. So they are soft on one side. They do have the smaller spot in the middle and then it has the maraca. So it is good to have her hold both and she kind of either will have both together or just play with it like that. So it is good to have toys like this. Um, they said not to go too crazy with toys right now because she is going to eventually grow out of the base. So she can also hold it like this and grab them and she can play with the different toys there. Um, she does also really like the crinkly toys still. So these ones I actually took off of her lay down activity center. So she still really likes that. Um, for her teether toy, we actually did end up getting her this really cute crown. So that one, it's big enough and it actually has all these different textures on each of the crowns so that she can if see how like which one feels better on her teeth and all so i am constantly washing this too because it's silicone and it does attract any fluff and all that the other toy that i did pick up it's called an oval shaker so i actually just got this one in the mail today from amazon oh santiago wants to come say hi you want to come say hi to the vlog say hi hi Look, we got Mila a new toy. You want to show? Yeah. Okay. So this one is called the Oval Ball, and I got it. You can get it either in uh, more of a ball form so that it's big enough that they can grab with both sides. But I decided to go with this one for now because since Mila... No, Mila did. Yeah, you got to turn it around to show. Well, this way. Like that. Open, Mommy. Yeah, I'll open it up. I think... Oh, I have to... It has a little... Um, I need to cut this piece off to get it out. But since she kind of grabs more, like she sits like this a lot and grabs oh, more mommy. like that. So I figured this one Whoa. would be better. I love Come here. Mommy. You want to go get Mila a toy in I'm the toy room? I love Mommy. Okay, I'll go open it. Okay. Go ask Daddy and I'll, we'll open it, okay? Yeah. Okay, go ask Daddy. Come on. Come on. Get your Camila. Mm -hmm. Go. Yeah, we're going to go get scissors to open it up. Yeah. Okay, let's go. This toy, I figured it is a lot better for Mila right now because since it's a longer one, she can grab it from both sides like this, where the oval is just a bigger circle. No, but get out. We were just chatting away, and she did let, also let us know that um, through the low blind vision program as well, and through the occupational therapy, when, like, if or when we do choose to put Mila into a registered or into a daycare. They basically said that we would have to put her into a registered daycare for them to bring an occupational therapist along with us so that if she needs any help with any of her vision or any of her day-to-day -day routine. So that's another thing to keep in mind. I know it, like there's so many different options when it comes to basically any type of daycare. So you could either do home daycares, um, daycare centers and all of that. So it is def definitely something to think about. So if she is going to be needing those extra support, we do have that option of the occupational therapist going and joining her throughout her day. So 
I'm still kind of unsure right now actually whether I'm going to be returning back to work right away. I did take uh, about 18 months off with Santiago and then with Mila I did take off the one year. So I'm still deciding on what to do but we're just kind of going day by day right now and um, seeing how many appointments throughout the week that we have currently and then I'll kind of go from there and see what type of um, like what the future looks like for going back to work and all. Ooh, good job. Aww. Good job, Mila. Look at you and your cute dress. You have a bow on. Grab him with your right hand first, I can tell. There you go. So this is why I got this toy, because I knew that she was going to grab it from both sides. So this one I feel like it's a little bit longer than the actual ball. I know, it's okay. So um, when she grabs it, it's a bit easier for her to hang on to. Are you reading? You're reading a cookie, little monster. Yeah. Hi, Mila. You're six months old already. Good job. When we were sitting talking, she was also going on over basically um, saying that I'm doing a really good job so far and she is seeing a lot of progress with Mila currently. Um, it was actually really nice to hear because I feel like a lot of times as moms, like we just don't feel like we're doing enough. And even, you know, just having that reassurance that we're doing a really good job is super nice as well. Um, Cause yeah, I do have Santiago home with me full time as well. So, so he's not in daycare currently now that I'm off work. Um, they're both super young. So they're actually 17 months apart and 15 days. So they're super close together. So it is actually good also having Santiago home with Mila as well because he's also teaching her things that, you know, how to grab toys, play. He's really gentle with her. He loves his sister. So it's really nice to have them super close in age and to see them grow together and everything. We are going actually to down to the kids to neurology this week. So I'm going to do an update on our day going down there and what the neurologist says. So that's the next step that we're, we've been waiting for. For neurology, we have had about a three month wait. So we are excited to go down to that appointment. I'm also a little bit nervous, not gonna lie, just to see how the neurologist thinks that she's developing so far. We do know that she's very delayed in a lot of her milestones. So she does have a long road ahead of her, I feel like, but um, hopefully she can also give us a better idea of how she's fully developing and where she's at as well, on top of um, seeing how her other appointments have gone. So yeah, I just wanted to keep today's video super short, just kind of go over that. Um, and our next couple of videos, I do actually, we're going to do yeah, neurology. I, al I also actually do have to do a nursery update. So we are going to have to, which I'm planning on soon actually. So giving Santiago a big boy toddler room. And then I also have to still do a nursery for Mila. So we still haven't done that yet. So Hopefully within the next month or so, we're going to start getting into that. I really wanted to show a quick sneak peek of actually what I'm thinking about doing for Mila's nursery. So I kind of want to do a bit of a glam kind of a princess scene, but not too much. So just kind of something just really like classy, I guess. Okay. So first off, I do have a chandelier that I have had for actually quite a few years. So this is an option I'm thinking about. So it's silver and it does have all the crystal beads and it has just the clear light on it so it's really really pretty this one i actually picked up at rona i believe i've had it for maybe like two or three years actually no definitely three years so this i was thinking of hanging so i just kind of it's kind of just hangs a little bit lower so that is the option and i'm gonna show this is a bit of the crib so can you see there so it's gonna be we're reusing the crib so it's uh dark gray and then Santiago actually has a matching dresser, so that's going to be the idea. The only thing about the dresser, I'm not sure if I want to reuse it for Mila or not. Let me, let me put you back. So the dresser, I don't know if I really want to reuse it, just because since it is Santiago's, I wanted to move it into, like, keep it moving with his room theme. So I have to get him a new bed. So we're thinking of either a full or a queen so that if he's ever not feeling well, I can go and lay down with him as well. I don't want to really do like a single bed, uh, what would you call it, a twin? So I'm not sure about that. But the other thing I wanted to say is just the, so the dresser I can reuse and just put some crystal knobs on it. I do want to change them to black for him eventually, but I could do crystal knobs on that. Let me put you back. 
And then the other thing, so um, in Santiago's current room right now, which I'm thinking of using as a nursery, I'm not too sure, but the only thing is we have a dark navy blue wall. So if I do make this into her room, I have to choose another dark color. I'm thinking of doing maybe more of a blackberry color. If I do use the other room, which is completely white, I might do a lighter mauve color. So that is the other thing. I wanna show actually on my phone of the ideas of what I have in mind. So I was thinking since the crib is this color, I was gonna do the bedding like that so it blends in really nice. It is a watercolor floral, so it'll go really nice with this crib. For the room color accent, I was thinking of like a, maybe like a blackberry color or or I was thinking of doing this color, which is a mauve, which is super girly. So I don't really know if I'm really liking it or not. And then the other chandelier option would be this. So going with more of a gold, which I'm not too sure. This one's a lot bigger, so I would need a bigger one maybe for the other room. So that, or just use the one that I have. And then I really wanted to add just a little bit of a bench or a middle piece. So an ottoman. I was thinking I'm just going with white because I can put a blanket over and just not really use it. It's just more for an ottoman. And so this is kind of just like the look what I was going for. So just like that. The middle piece of this crown right there is actually going to be a canopy over the crib. So that's the crib I have right now. And then the canopy over the top. And then that's just... Uh, tiara I was gonna put on her dresser and then just kind of like that is how I plan out my room so I basically just kind of put it together and then I figure out how I want to place it and what looks good together it just helps me get a visual of it so I'm really liking this dark blackberry over the mauve but the mauve does look really good as well so I will see thinking of a fiddle tree just because the one I have in his room right now is this one which I got at structure but it is more of a safari theme. I forget what the actual leaf they call this, but it does look good with the bed, but I don't know if it'll really look good with her bedroom theme. So I'll have to think about that. And then as far as putting a name sign, I don't really know if I'll do that for her, but that's basically the dark walls. And don't mind the mess right now on the dresser, but if I do reuse this room, I would keep this corner the exact same. Oh, just my ring light there. I would keep this the exact same basically if I was going to reuse this room just because it fits so good in this little nook. And then for the pictures, I did go with a safari theme for my son, but I do want to go with something, maybe just photos of her in those and not really go with like princess themes or anything like that, how I did with him, because I feel like they just outgrow this look a lot faster. And I did also notice that when I put this one up, it's a little bit higher, so it does need fixed. But I do really like the finishing of these. You can tell the wood. So it would really go nice with having more of a kind of princess theme and then just do black and white photos in it i think i would go with and just maybe do flowers in it or just photos of mila as she grows it's basically my idea of what i want to do for her nursery so i have my vision pretty much set on that i just have obviously the couple things to think of the bedrooms are on the main floor here are actually the exact same size other than the way that the hallway is, there's about two feet missing out of Santiago's room compared to the spare bedroom, which is the toy room right now. So I just don't know if I want to basically like take him out of his bedroom because he's so used to this room. So I might actually keep this and then the whole, I like the wall color that he has in here since it's already the navy color. I don't want to have to repaint that in the other room. So there's just a lot to think about. So I'm going to give myself this month to kind of um, think about it, see what I have to order and... It's definitely time to give Mila her nursery that she's officially six months old, which is long overdue actually for her to have her own bedroom. So that's just kind of the idea. And then in a future vlog soon, I'm going to be doing that as well. So I just wanted to show a little bit of a sneak peek of what I'm thinking about. And yeah, hopefully soon we'll actually be completing her bedroom, which I'm so excited about. So I just want to say thank you so much for watching today's video and I will catch you in my next one. Bye.